Well, hello, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have for you guys today. This is going to be for Pisces. For Pisces. All right. Okay, a few cards fell down. So Pisces, it looks like you guys have been struggling inside of a connection here. Some of you guys have been struggling financially. This is emotionally, something dealing with your emotions. So this could have something to do with any kind of relationship. It could be a um, romantic or it could be family, friends, that type of thing. But some of you guys have been struggling emotionally here with the strength card. You guys, and this is more so past energy. I feel like here with the page of wands, you guys are getting your spark back. Here with the ten of wands, you guys are really putting down a burden. But man, yeah, I definitely feel that you guys had been in this period of, of struggling with your emotions. Let's see. Cards are flying everywhere with you guys this morning. But man, look at your future here with the Ten of Pentacles. Your money is going to be really good. I actually saw this in your read last time I did your reading. Some of you guys are getting offers. This has something to do with new jobs, that type of thing here with the Page of Pentacles. Man, your money is going to be sweet, especially if you guys have been struggling. If you guys have children, you're going to be able to take care of them. I see that as well. We're going to go ahead and get some more. Some of you guys have been in a long-term committed relationship, and that was part of the reason why you guys have felt so burdened down, so tired, so worn out. Let's get some more for Pisces. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys have been, it's just been you, okay? So emotionally, you guys, have, like I said before, you guys have been struggling. Maybe you, you didn't have anyone to talk to, that type of thing, especially if you're single. Um, and again, if it was finances, a lot of you guys are having problems with finances, okay? Definitely seeing a spark coming back in you, and I love that. I see Magician, absolutely. Confidence, getting your confidence back. That magic, willpower here. Fool card, brand new beginning. That was the last card that came out. Yeah, you guys have definitely suffered a broken heart, disappointment, that type of thing. Whatever you guys were holding on to, that's going to be completely over and done with. This is why I was saying before, I could tell there was a heavy load on you. Uh, for a lot of you, we're going to go ahead and clarify and see what this is really about. You know, is, does this have anything to do with your finances for some romantically? You know, we're going to go ahead and see. But man, when I tell you, you have a beautiful new beginning here. I see a, some of you guys are getting a new home. Some of you guys are. Um, yeah, I see moving, getting a new home, a new job for a lot of you. And you're letting go of whatever you've been holding on to. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify. Let's see what this is all about. Let's start with the strength card for Pisces. Strength card. Mm, yeah, here with the justice. You guys have felt like life has been very unfair. Okay. You had a strong sense of justice and whoever you were dealing with, family member, whoever, you know, you weren't, you, you felt like you weren't getting any kind of respect. You work really hard. You have a strong sense of work ethics and a sense of justice, but you were not getting back and were, you were not getting the respect back. Some of you guys, this could be, it could have been from the boss, from your boss. Mm hmm. Let's get the um, page of wands. <clears throat> Yeah, Page of Wands. It's a higher fence. So I do see that there's going to be, some of you guys are getting contracts. 
you're winning something in court as well. I see a lot of legal here, a lot of legal. And if you guys are doing anything legal, if it has anything to do with the court system or contracts, I see that it's going to work out really well for you here with the page of pentacles. This is also a new connection. I feel like, you know, soon you're going you're to be coming up on. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant talks about two people coming together. Yeah. Some of you guys believe that it, it couldn't happen. Maybe you've been single for so long. Let's get the Ten of Wands. There it is again. So a lot of you guys have been, like I said before, single parents. You've been having issues or problems with finances, that type of thing. And I love the fact that the Ten of, the Ten of Pentacles is right next to it. It is amazing. So it seemed like a, a, a whole turn for you. Look at this, lovers. Mm-hmm. So finance is definitely going to get better. But here, you guys were dealing with a very immature energy. Some of you guys were dealing with more than one person. And you weren't really getting what you wanted out of the connection. It was just like, I mean, again, the, the page of Pentacles is just so little. It's not anything major. Okay, and that was that had become a burden because we see the higher fan. A lot of you guys wanted something strong. You wanted something serious. You wanted a committed relationship. And you've been dealing with people who were not on that level. No whatsoever. And if you guys were married, um, there were other people involved, that type of stuff. Let's get the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Your money is going to be amazing. I love this for you. This is new, too. Some of you guys are coming in some really good money, new money. And I also see here a relationship. You guys, I mean, feeling full, feeling happy. Remember I was talking about before how you guys have been struggling emotionally? This is the complete opposite of that. You guys have a new love relationship coming in here. And part of that justice card talks about your karma. So it's like, wow. You guys are definitely in favor right now with the cosmos. Let's get the nine of pentacles. The full card. Yeah. Brand new beginning here. A brand new you. A lot of love interests here. Second time the lover's card came out. Romance is going to be very heavy in your life over the next year. Really good. I do see disappointments though. I'm going to tell you, some of you guys are dealing with more than one person. Some of you guys are going to keep your options open. That's true. Uh, but I do see that there's going to be disappointments in love, but you're still going to, um, you're still going to end up on top here. Let's go ahead. Let's get the magician. Yeah, you guys are working really hard. I mean, building. I know that's right. This is amazing. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Pisces, what are you guys doing? Really, really good. A lot of you guys are single, but I'm telling you, you are financially stable. You are focusing on you, focusing on your grind, and it is paying off greatly here. Let's get this Three of Swords for Pisces. Yeah, this was this was decisions and choices when it comes down to love relationships. I feel like um, some of you guys are going to be dealing with individuals or people who um, may not want to invest. Now, this is future, okay? A lot of this is future, this new beginning, that type of stuff. A lot of you guys are going to be going into relationships or connections with people that you really like, and they're not going to necessarily want to move the relationship forward, okay? I just got to tell you. Um, however, you're not going to lose, okay? Because you still have a choice here with the two of wands, and you're going to move forward. And when you do, it's going to be a new beginning, which is going to bring in all of this beautiful blessings that's, that's stored. I mean, your future is amazing. But, you know, I do have to tell you, you're going to be dealing with individuals who, um, you know, are going to be shut down, you know, um, 
playing mind games. You're going to be on different pages, kind of like this. I just looked down. Two different people. That's what a lot of you guys are going to be facing in love situations. But we saw the Ace of Cups here. So it's going to pull you in a different direction, in the direction you're supposed to go in. Let's get the full card here for Pisces. Full card. Yeah. Yep. So some of you guys are going to experience some endings. Some of you guys have already. But I, I really do see that it has something to do with reciprocity. There was no give and take. Or you guys are going to experience this situation where there's not going to be any reciprocity. Or the person is not going to be giving you what you deserve, receiving support and love from a particular person. But it will come in because you're going to have a whole new, brand new beginning. So I feel like there's going to be things that you're going to let go. That's the reason why the hangman is here. Some of you guys are experiencing that right now, especially if you're in a relationship. Um, there's going to be new beginnings for you. Um, the hangman talks about holding on to something. Sometimes it may not even be good for you. Okay. Okay. But a beautiful reading overall, Pisces, okay? Well, thank you, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.